and welcome to Cooking with the Huskies. Um, this video we are going to make the carrot peanut butter cups. So I already had everything measured out. Um, I am doubling my recipe. Like I said, I have a lot of dogs. So this time I'm going to double it. And what I found when I've made this before is to use a little extra carrot. Um, because I like to line the whole cup and as you see in the picture, you know, theirs isn't really lined all the way, so um, I always put a little extra carob when I do it. So we are going to get it ready. Um, it's asking for a cup and a quarter of the carob kit chips, sorry, and a quarter cup of canola oil. And you're just going to pour the canola oil on top, and then we're going to go pop it in the microwave for about... It says a minute and 20 seconds. So, okay, so heated up the carrot, carrot, and you're just gonna wanna mix it till it's like really nice and smooth. And if I didn't get this all melted, I'll have to put it back in for a few more seconds. that we're going to be making here. I am going to go put this back in because there's still a lot in there that's not melting. I'm going to put this back in just for a few seconds. Okay, so you want to have your carrot melted down. You want it to be smooth. As you can see, it's still got some chunks in there. I will also be posting these recipes so that you're able to print them off or you can look at them without having to watch the video to make them each time. It'll be posted on their Facebook page called Grown Up Pesky and a link will be down there on the description part of this video. And if you're new to being a dog owner um, and you already know that chocolate is toxic for dogs but this is carob and it's non-toxic to dogs. It's not actually chocolate. It just looks like chocolate. Let me see you, baby girl. Sanders wanting up here. I think she wants to taste everything as I make it. She doesn't want to wait until it's done. <laughs> so when we put this in the cup, um, in your little cup piece here, uh, I can't even talk. In your muffin cups, uh, we're going to put it in the refrigerator for a little while and let it get hardened up. Um, it says about two hours, but. It just all depends on how thick you make it. Um, what I found um, really easy to use and helpful is to use these silicone muffin uh, cup thingies because you can just pull it in and it just pops right out. I love these things. And they stand by themselves on the little pan here. I always line mine with parchment paper because I don't want to have to clean the tray because I am a messy person. So I am going to make regular sized um, cupcake ones, and then I'm going to use small ones for the littles. So, and it says in here it'll make 12 of these, but it's been a while since I made it, and I don't remember if that's actually how many it made or not. And you're going to want to only do one at a time. I made that mistake once, thinking, oh, I'll just put the care of in each and then go back and do it. No, it hardens up quick. <laughs> You guys probably already knew that. So what I like to do is, I'll put a bunch in there. And I will take it. Zaria, can I come over here please? She's right at the feet and I can't move. But I'll take it and, see like I said, I make a mess. And I'll do this. You're gonna wanna line you got to slow down when you drink your coffee. Um, coffee. Oh, where am I today? <laughs> Loki, you got to slow down when you drink your water, please. That's all a husky needs is coffee, isn't it? So you're just going to want to get that smooth out all along your muffin. And if you're using regular muffin, the paper kind, uh, just 
get a spoon or something, just kind of smear it on there. Okay, so we're back now. Um, these had time to get hard. I actually left them in overnight. I finished up late last night, so. So anyway, I want to show you this nifty little trick I use um, when I put the peanut butter in. I usually use um, an icing tube, but you could take like a, a Ziploc or just a baggie. And I always use like this little plastic cup and just put it over the sides. And then you just pull it up out of there. Just work it down into, ooh, I ripped it, uh oh. Work it down into a corner. Guess I don't know my own strength. <laughs> She's back here dancing. So anyway, just work it down into a corner and just like snip off a little of the corner. You don't want too much because you don't want it to gush out. And then you just want to squeeze it. And you can make it as big as you want. And then you squeeze your peanut butter. It just makes it easier than trying to, you know, scoop it out. I'm going to put some cherries in a couple of these for the dogs. Um, cherries are good for dogs as long as you do not let them get the leaves, the stem, or the pits. Those are very toxic to dogs. But the cherry itself is actually pretty good for your dogs. It's got some really good health benefits. Um, I buy these frozen for the dogs. Myself, I'll eat the fresh ones, but for the dogs, I make sure I get the frozen ones. But you could put them in your peanut butter cups like this. Give the dogs add a little treat. You know, you could add blueberries or strawberries. You know, whatever your baby wants. So if you just kind of pat it down a little. And it just kind of helps level it out some. It's amazing. I just, I love the feeling of making treats for my dogs and knowing that I put so much care and thought into doing this for them and I when they eat it or just even when we're just sitting there cuddling it's like you can feel them feeling that appreciation you know maybe it's just me but it just feels that way you know like they appreciate these little things that we do for them and they just I think they can feel the love that we put into it and I think they like it a lot better than the store-bought stuff. And I will, on their Facebook page, under this recipe, I'll make sure that I post the article about the cherries being good for the dogs, because I know that we're taught as pet owner, or dog owners anyway, that they're not good for dogs. So uh, I am gonna put that little article in there so you can see that as well. So there's a couple of them that doesn't want to kind of get into place, so we can get you a little spoon, put it down in there. So now for our carrot topping. And again, you want to stir this often because you don't want it to harden up on you. And if you need to, just I kept my burner on just in case I need to. Uh, warm it back up. So I just use a little spoon and some carob. Just get it on the top there. Kind of spread it over the top. So you want to make sure it's touching each, you know, all the way around the edges because we want a good seal on that. <laughs> So I'm going to do the little shake down again. And I have some extra carob left over, so I'm going to kind of top off a few of them. Use the last little carob. So if I can still see a little bit of peanut butter, I'm going to go ahead and top those ones off. Um, 
what I did forget to mention, at least I, I don't remember if I did mention anyway, um, the first part of the video is if your dog has allergies to nuts, I did find that sunflower butter is safe for anyone with peanut allergies. I can't say that I've ever looked for it. I'm sure you can find it online or probably at a health food store. So if you need an alternative, then maybe look into that. They say there's some other ones too that I wanted to just kind of see so I can let y'all know that there was something else out there if you can't use peanut butter. So maybe you can't work with peanut butter because you're allergic. Um, so you might even know about the other kind of buttery, peanut buttery kind of, kind of thing to use. If you guys cannot find um, care of in your area, then um, Amazon does have it. I will put a link for it down below. We have a store here called the Apple Crate that actually carries the carob chips. So I was pretty excited to see that because it is kind of hard to find. Right, so, so we got this all covered with the carob. So now we are going to put it back in the refrigerator for a little while. Um, like I said, you need to put it in there a few hours. So I'd say about three um, just to make sure it's got enough time to harden up just because of the bigger cups. The small ones won't take as long, but for these, I want to at least leave it in there for about three hours. And then we'll come back and see what the dogs think of it, which you know they're going to devour. <laughs> so we'll put these in and we'll come back when they're done and let you see them and how they turn out. Okay, so we're back with our carob peanut butter cups. I already took most of them out, but I wanted to show you, let me see how messy I am. You, I wanted to show you how easy it is with the silicone, in case you haven't used it before. Look how easy that comes out. I absolutely love the silicone. Good invention, whoever invented this one. And usually I'll just drop the crumbs and go after it. But even with the small ones, they come right out of there. So we are going to do our Husky test and see what they think of these. And see if they pass the test. Are you guys ready? You guys ready to try? We're just going to try some small ones tonight, okay? You're sitting already. Ziva's sitting already. And remember, I put the cherries in some of these as well. Good sit, Tony. Good sit, Chesty Fuller. Good boy. Sandra D. Good girl. Good Jones. Who else is going to sit for me? Strogo. Good boy. Good boy. Good sit, Loki Bear. Can you sit, please? Thank you. Mm, don't forget, Chesty. It's, I gave you one. So there you go. I think I accidentally gave Chesty two. They like to change places sometimes. The two reds do. And I keep getting mixed up. I'm like, did I already give them one or not? They do that to me quite often and I fall for it. Almost every time. So there we go. They love their care of peanut butter cups. And I really hope that your dogs love it as well. And like I said, you don't have to be perfect about it. You can see imperfections, but that's just part of it, of making treats and stuff. And as you can see, the dogs don't care. They still love it. <laughs> so anyway, thank you for watching Growing Up Husky. And again, I hope you guys enjoy making these treats, and I hope your fur kids love them as well. And we will see you later. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye.